I can't imagine going in there and doing one thing and leaving. Like, ew, not what I wanted. <sighs> fragrance section. What is happening? Hi, who are we? I just haven't used it. Wait, the accent is messing up. Amazing, amazing, amazing. What up, Wangwan? I just saying it's Minna, and in this video, we are going to be going over all of my favorites. It's just an all-in-one video, including, of course, some Sephora VIB sale recommendations, because you know the Sephora sale is happening. Okay, so if you're Rouge, the Sephora sale starts on the 9th of April. If you are VIB, it starts on the 13th, and if you are an insider, it starts on the 15th. And guess what? Over the past year, even though I get PR, I still been shopping and spending my coins. So I have risen up to the level of rouge. It's a problem. Do not celebrate for me. This is a problem. Okay. What that means though, however, is I'm going to be shopping with 20% off on April 9th and I cannot wait. What I want you to do right now is comment below and let me know what status you have at Sephora. If you are a Sephora lover, I also want you to text me. My number is here on the screen and it's also in the description because I do have a text community and I want you to be a part of it. It's not spam, it's me. I get the messages and I respond as I can, okay? Now, I do wanna touch up my lip with one of the Fenty Gloss Balm Creams. So we all know and love the Fenty Gloss Balm Creams. If you don't have these, you need to get them, okay? At Sephora, the light color is Honey Waffles. In the middle, we've got Cookie Jar and then the pink is Fenty Glow. For this lip, it is a pink lip, but I just feel like touching it up with this gloss. I'm gonna use Honey Waffles. I don't know about you, but because Texas has now opened up to no masks, I'm still wearing a, a mask, but it's more of a shield now. I do keep my masks just in case I go in a store and they're like, the shield's not good enough, but I'm doing the shield now because I'm just sick and tired of the mask a little bit, but I still want to be protected. I'm not a fool, but I'm going to touch up with this honey waffles and it's okay because when I leave home, this will still stay on because of my shield. Look at that color. Just like amazing, you know? It's so good. So if you don't already have these glosses, you need them. Really good, love the pigment. They remind me so much of the NYX Intense Butter Glosses, and those are the ones that I love because they have a lot of pigment in them. The regular butter glosses don't have pigment, not enough for me, because you know that my lips are uh, pigmented. They're, they have darkness on them, which I'm fine with, but when I do my lip and I do my makeup, I want to make sure that I can see the product that I'm using. So if I'm wearing a lip gloss, I wanna see the gloss. I don't wanna see my lips. That's the whole point. A lot of color payoff to them, okay? So comment and let me know if you have these or if you plan on buying any of the cream gloss bombs. Now, first what I wanna go through as far as suggestions is my everyday makeup kit. I get a lot of questions about the foundation brush that I've been using as of late. This is not clean, but I do wanna show you. This is the Sephora number 70 bl br <laughs> blush. It's not a blush, it's a brush. It's very densely packed, which I love. And when you wipe on the foundation, it's not gonna get all stuck in here. It's going to go on your face. I like to do the padding motion, but in the middle, in the beginning when I'm applying it, I do like bring it down, you know. If you've seen any of my most recent videos, you will have seen me using this brush and I like it, it's really good. So I do recommend that brush for you. Okay, now those of you who've been around for a, lot, a while as well, know that I love and I swear by the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've been wearing this on my bottom lashes forever, for years, okay. I've, I've obviously re-upped on it, okay. But love the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It definitely does add fibers or something to my lashes. I use Use this just on the bottom lashes because it really makes a huge difference. It's worth every penny. As of late, I have been using the Becca Perfector <laughs> Primer. I like this a lot. It reminds me of the Milk of Magnesia. Remember those days? Who used to do that? Comment and let me know. Who else used to use Milk of Magnesia on their face? That is so bad, but it used to work so well, okay? This is great. I did use this today and you do see some shine on my face. By the way, I'm wearing the makeup forever foundation which I will get to in a second I like this mattifying is it gonna be Houston summer proof I'm not sure we're not in the summer quite yet we're in spring but I will be using it in the summer to see it does give that drying though that I want before putting on my actual foundation so I do like it if you want to be matte this is a good option for you Urban Decay all night a setting spray I don't be setting my face with the spray like I could or should I just don't do it it's just not something that I always think about but it's obviously totally an option I was 
was gonna spray some on right now, but I do wanna show you two other options now. This is a little janky. This is not Sephora, but I do wanna show you. This is, and I'll tell you which ones are Sephora and which ones are not. It's a little janky because I, this is a small bottle. Like this is the actual bottle. So it's Graf, Graftobian. This is makeup setting spray that's used on the stage mainly. And then this I put into a bottle. This is the Ben Nye Final Seal. This is not the actual container. I have the big one. This is also for stage. You spray it on your face. It's supposed to make it waterproof, smudge proof, long lasting. I haven't used these in some time, but I do plan on trying them out. I'll link them below in case you want to try either of them. But from what I do recall, they do work well, okay? Again, those are not from Sephora. But of course, the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray is, and this is always a good option. You know what? While we're here, let me spray some on. Fan this down. This fan is Amazon, honey. You always need a good fan around, okay? Okay. Another favorite is the NARS Climax Mascara. This is the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. I've been using this on my top lashes and actually today I used them on my bottom lashes if you can see them well enough. This is what I used. I forgot to grab the It Cosmetics one, but this is really good as well. Another mascara recommendation. Now let's go to powder. You know that I've been using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Always Spicy Powder. Really, really affordable drugstore. You can't beat that. That's a fave of mine these days. Been absolutely loving the Rare Beauty Illuminizer. I'm literally almost done with this. Gotta buy some more. This is the color Flaunt. It is just gorgeous. I have it on right now. I love how beautiful it looks. I put it on my cheeks, middle of the nose, above my lip, right here on my chin, and it just looks so great. Does my face look dewy now that I sprayed this all night on my face? Is this a dewy spray? Like, what is happening? Not what I wanted, but this is what I got. <laughs> I've been in love with Kosas lately. I've never tried their products until they sent me stuff recently and I was like wait a minute hi who are we <laughs> who are you let's get to know each other love this cloud set powder and the color is called silky I use this as my face powder and it's so nice it's just nice it reminds me of the Sephora micro smooth powder it's sheer but it's got color to it it just looks beautiful when I put it on top of my foundation you know the routine that I do you've seen my video where I was using the Fenty powder foundation which is also another recommendation of mine from Sephora. I'll link these below as well. I wear 450 in the powder foundation and in the liquid foundation. Fenty, love those too. Speaking of Fenty, I've been enjoying the cream bronzer. I'm using Toffee Tees and I have Toffee Tees on right now. I like this a lot. Really, really good. Recently, I dove in and got a few LYS Beauty products. I did a video on the, the, the products that I picked up on my own, including the foundation, which turns out not to be one of my faves because it's just too dewy. I don't like to be dewy. Black owned brand, new to Sephora, you really should try it out if you like to be dewy. But what I did keep are these two powders. This one is the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder in the color Ambition, which I love these names. Medium Tan, I use this today to set my highlighted areas, which is great. Also, I have No Limits Matte Bronzer in the color Worthy. This color is really good as well. I just love the names. So inspiring, just fantastic. I did recently try this one size translucent setting powder, which worked really well. This is the ultimate setting powder. Great option. And this is a nice travel size for you to throw inside your suitcase when you've got somewhere to go. I need to use these more. The Rare Beauty Cream Blushes. This one's a great color. It's pink. It's beautiful. I could put some on right now but I think it'll mess things up. But a great option for you if you wanted to try. Selena Gomez's line from Sephora. Whenever I'm carving underneath my brows, I'm using this NARS Amand Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Love this thing. I stay using it. In fact, it's almost done. That's a must. And like I said right now, I'm wearing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. My color is Y545. This. I just love how it looks and it fits me so well. When I put it on initially, it is a little dark but I like that because when I highlight my face and finish it all up, it comes together. But by itself, it is a smidge dark. I did pick up, and you know this, I've said it before, I just haven't used it. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the color Iguaku. I don't know how you say that. Iguaku, uh-huh, that one, okay? Deep three. I've still yet to try it, but this is really matte and I hope I'm gonna love it. I hope the color matches me. I've also been using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara in the color Kazam. 
I'm black. Always love a good mascara, you know. Always love a good eyeshadow primer. This is not Sephora, this is Elf Cosmetics Putty Primer, the white one. Love to put this down as an eyeshadow base. But if you've been paying attention, you realize that when I do this basic everyday look, I haven't been using an eyeshadow primer. That is very unlike me. Who am I? Okay, so when I went in to go and exchange products at Sephora, I had to because this is a must. If you just, if you love beauty and you love Sephora, you have to like look around. I can't imagine going in there and doing one thing and leaving, like, oh. So I took a peek at the fragrance section and my girl Beth convinced me. It was not hard for her to convince me. I mean, come on, you know, I'm a little easy when it comes to Sephora. So I took a look at the fragrance section and I got Two new fragrances. I know, these are like big bottles, but I deserve it. So, I got Marc Jacobs Perfect. Now, in my video, going over my fragrance collection, which I will link below, I asked you all what suggestions you had for fragrances, and I do recall seeing this on YouTube. And in my IG, y'all have mentioned Marc Jacobs Perfect, and I was like, I gotta add that to my wish list. So it was on my wish list. Another lady who was there was wearing it, and then Beth told me to get it, and so I sniffed it, and I was like, add that to the bag. Add a car it's a no-brainer you know what I'm saying I got this and like off rip off first sniff it's a no-brainer god it is just phenomenal Florally, florally, oh wait, wait, the accent is messing up. Oh, how do you say it? Florally, wait, if you wanna say something that's floral-like, how do you say it? Do you say floral-like? Jesus, oh, moving on. This is fantastic. Now, there's another fragrance that I picked up while I was there, cause I did buy the replica sample set, okay? If you wanna try something out, the samples are great. They don't do samples anymore, Sephora. I don't understand that, I don't like that. I need samples, you understand? So I bought the sample set of replica, because like I said in my fragrance video, Replica has been going all around town in COVID. It was like Replica was happening. Everyone was buying Replica and I had to try it out. So I did purchase Replica Springtime in a Park. I wasn't initially sold about this one, Jazz Club, but I kept using the sample and I sprayed it on our bedding in the room and I was like, I think Jazz Club is doing something for me. It is a masculine scent, but I like it for myself. These are unisex. It's just so unique. It's giving heady cocktails and cigars. It's giving you Brooklyn 2013. It's giving you Jazz Club. It is great. In fact, I'm gonna spray some on right now. This is a try on too, honey. It's all of the things. You know, the girls have taught us not to rub. Just allow it to be. Allow the fragrance. Allow the fragrance to be fragrant. Is that not a rhyme? Yeah, I love it. Do you like it? I love it. I got this in PR, but it smells really great. It's got honey and what did it say? Honey, dark rum. It just is very, very deliciously smelling. Oh, vanilla. This is by the company Ellis Brooklyn. They are coming to Sephora. It reminds me of the Sol de Janeiro fragrance. This is a little bit different. It's like a, a little bit more warm. The other one gives me Caribe, Caribbean vibes, whereas this one is Caribbean vibes, but more warm. So it's got like extra vanilla in it, or maybe it's the dark rum that's in it, or the bourbon or something. This one is really, really good. There's a slight difference between the two of them. So actually while we're here, Thank you to Ellis Brooklyn for sending me this fragrance. Love, love, and love. Right, I just went and dragged a whole bunch of empties in the bathroom. I'm so sick of myself, like, hello. Let me show you this, right? I have braids in my hair for the first time in many years. And my hairstylist used this Cantu Root Rinse, which is really great. So she told me to get it, and I bought it on Amazon. Love it, it's a gentle scalp detox. Again, this is like an all-encompassing type of video, but mainly Sephora. <laughs> Okay, got braids, got locks, got twists, and you wanna keep your scalp clean and feeling fresh and not itchy. Definitely need that, okay? Now, as far as empties are concerned, I've gone through several of these. First A Beauty, Facial Radiance, Niacinamide, Dark Spot Serum. Love it, Niacinamide is great for controlling the oiliness in your skin. It's great for all types of skin. I use this day and night. Doesn't interfere with my acne treatment or anything else that I'm using. It's great to lighten up the dark spots on your face, and I love this product. Product. actually demolished this bump eraser body scrub from First Aid Beauty. This I love because it can work on wet skin. So I usually
usually I actually left this in the bathtub and once I wet my skin before I showered I would take some of my hands and rub it on my elbows behind my thighs on my knees I put it on my chest and on my back and it is so good so it has AHA in it AHA an ingredient you would see in skincare it's an exfoliating ingredient so it is great it's gentle I didn't have any issues with it you know there are some scrubs where if it gets wet it just rolls all off and then you have to get more no it goes on to wet skin so it it's somehow formulated where it's not like rinsing off of you so quickly in fact you have to be intentional of getting it off before I shower that's what I have to do it is just so good look I squeezed every last drop that I could get out of this thing and I have another one and best believe I'm gonna put her in a rotation because it is that good you want to make sure you are taking care of your face the skin on your face and the body exfoliate hydrate you know use lotions and creams that are really gonna make your skin look and feel beautiful and speaking of that I have really been enjoying this glow recipe watermelon glow pink dream body cream uh how amazing it has a beautiful a beautiful watermelon scent to it this also has skincare in it it's not on the bottle but there's skincare in this which is really great so you're not only moisturizing your skin but you're also getting the added benefits of the skincare that's in it so you know that I love me using this Shishido clear stick SPF I've been using this a lot on my IG and my IG stories and in videos in fact this is done it's finished I need to buy another one because look it's done I love it it's great SPF 50 water resistant for the face and the body it goes on easily it goes on clear it's a no-brainer I love it I've also been enjoying this Josie Marion whipped argan oil I've gone through two of these already so this is my third one I use it and we use it for any knee skin as well he has eczema and so do I it is fragrance free you know I love fragrance but I actually appreciate that this is fragrance free because it can be used on sensitive skin like our five-year-old skin this is an ultra hydrate body butter it's just awesome it's nice and rich I love it it's not so rich that when you put it on you feel icky I have eczema I love rich things okay so for me I would enjoy it either way but this is a great in between where it's comfortable it feels good it's rich it's great did I mention it's great now if you watch my weekly vlogs which you really should be watching if you're not you are missing out on far too much I'm on the fresh site and also on the Sephora site featuring this brand and I just think it's so fantastic this soy cleanser is really really great I've used it for several years now any and everyone knows about fresh beauty and any and everyone knows about this soy face cleanser very very soft beautiful fresh scent to it smells like cucumber feels really good on the skin does not strip the skin of its oils it's just great to be used day and night your skin's not gonna feel dry after you use it I enjoy it wanted to make sure I shared that with you here I have enjoyed you can't even find the cap because again I don't like to waste so I'm the kind of person that's gonna take the cap off and be like hitting at the bottom to get everything out of it I've enjoyed this skin food honey rich essence body essence it's extra nourishing it smells like smells like honey Ugh. <sighs> smells like honey so so good I also again no cap on it because like I said I'll be like tap tap squeeze squeeze bang bang to get out every I'll be sticking my fingers inside I gotta get everything out of these containers okay this is the drunk elephant silly body lo silly body lotion it's got ceramides in it the consistency wasn't really full in my boat or finding my lost remote but I did want to tell you that I use it in case you saw it and just wanted to give it a shot now if you saw my other video from last year then you know about rituals rituals of Sakura this rituals line is so good I mean this stuff smells amazing this is the ritual of Sakura Zen not Zen sensational foaming shower gel organic rice milk and cherry blossom fragrance 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 amazing 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 it's so good that when we squeeze it out we really squeeze out too much because it's so good that you just like and it comes out like a liquid and then it foams up oh we finished this in a few days. My husband and I burned right through this thing. So good. It was sent to me in PR and I've purchased it twice. This is good stuff. We go through it far too quickly. That's just how good it is. I've enjoyed this Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This one is empty. I have another one in the shower that I use when I go in the shower with my makeup on and I, and I break it all down. Then I wash my face and then I go about my 
day. This feels very luxurious. It feels very fancy, you know, it's very thick. This was sent to me, Scentworks. This is Golden Vanilla Body Lotion. This is very strong in fragrance, but I like that. And you must be thinking, well, if you have eczema, how do you do a fragrance? My eczema is not horrible. Like it's not that bad. I like fragrance. I just do like, I don't care. I just do. This is really strong. Like it's really, really strong, but in a really good way. Okay. And Nair, I don't know about you, but I Nair my legs. So Nair is just clutch. One time, at one point during COVID, I couldn't even find Nair. Like you, you couldn't find a computer, you couldn't find a webcam, and you couldn't find Nair. Like what? <laughs> I've always used Nair. I just grab whatever scent. This is the rich cocoa butter and vitamin E. Love to use Nair. Do you use Nair? Let me know. All right. Those are all I can think of right now. I want you to comment below and let me know if any of these products are on your wish list, if you've tried any of them, what your thoughts are on any of them, and if you plan on shopping the Sephora VIB sale, I want you to let me know. As always, glad you're here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you are subscribed both here and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.